That's good old Clutter Butter. Okay, well, let's open up box. Do we have somebody to write down? We are we are Kat and Terry. How old is you? She's fourteen. She'll be fifteen in June. <gasps> she was a I'll be baby when she was here, when she first started. Will somebody be a uh, Kat and Terry for me? She was four. Yeah. Oh, she, yeah, probably. She four was a five. little girl. Is Nuki is Nuki being offered to, or is she being? Um, or is she offering? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Dookie. Poor thing. Aw. Okay, let's do these because I got to scoop out here. Yeah, too. Mm -hmm. The only me to hold you like a baby. Yeah. He's a good baby holder, isn't he? Hang on. You're on wheels now, girl. Oops, what's up with the wheels? And your boots are stuck to the snake there. Okay, now what's holding this up? Something. There we go. How about if I move your coat so I have a little room? Okay. Uh -huh. We have also a surprise for webcamers. And I'm going to hold it up. If somebody would pretty, pretty please take a screenshot for me and put it on the Facebook for me to show you guys how appreciative we are of you all. We wanted to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day to all the webcamers from the kitties of FFRC. <laughs> the kitties all got together. Today when they went missing, this is they were in the big office. Um, making this. Yep, they all got together. They did it nicely without any arguing. Oh, hope you feel better, Cricket. Yeah, Badu, Badu <laughs> just sat there and grumbled at him. Yeah. Yep, little caught Paw Penny. Did you help? <laughs> They had fun. So thank you, everybody. I know. You know who gave them the glitter, don't you? Can you see it shining? Screenshot. Can you get it there, your screenshot? Yeah, Stacy gave the kitties the glitter. It was all over the place, too. <laughs> we love our Stacy girl. Okay, thank you. I'll hang this up, too. All right, well, let's do our box, and we have a few envelopes. You won't need that knife. I'll try it. Here, scooch. Or here, let's scoot it over. That's all I want. There's a patty behind you. You need it this time. Now watch the patty. Watch his knife. I get a little crazy. Here, watch your toes. Oh, I'm just going to did you hear that? I said, watch your toes. Oops, hang on a minute. We can't open it yet. We got, I know I got a email on that. Okay, this is from My job is wonderful. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> happy. It's the best job ever. Um This is from um Joanne P from Florida. And I have a picture to show you with this box. This is this is from Joanne P in Florida. Oh, can you see her doggy? I'll put my finger behind it. That's her doggy. 
and this this uh, box is in memory of her dog Kara, who is an Australian Kelpie. And actually, she thought this box was going to get here Friday, so I hope she's on there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open this. So this is in memory of Kara, her Australian uh, Kelpie dog. Joanne, this is really cool. Um, it's from QVC. It's a 13 inch hot laminator. I know how to use one. Do you? Yeah. This is really cool. You know, you do have one like this at work. Um, yeah, large cello taping thingy. And it's in pink. You know how whenever I uh, I do a lot of stuff where I take that two inch wide um, big tape. tape, packing tape, packing tape, and I tape everything that I need to have stay for a while. I wouldn't have to do that anymore with this. That is really cool. Thirteen inch hot, hot laminator, professional laminator for craft and home use. Purple cows. That is really cool. No, is that what um, yeah. you can buy there at, Walmart at Walmart? I will do that next time I go out to my mom's. I'll stop there and give them one. That's really cool. That's what I do at the counter a lot of times when you hear me go with the screech, screeching of the tape. I'm uh, heavy duty uh, taping things. Um, isn't that cool? Yeah, I won't have to do that so much anymore. I need to take the laminated things to something. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Joanne. That's really cool. I'll set that up right around in the house there. That's pretty cool. Thank you. And and I'm really sorry about your doggy. Um, she sure looks cute. I think I mentioned in my email to you, she, she looks cute, and she looks like she was an ornery girl, a fun girl. Laminated cat hair. <laughs> oh, that's about right. Yeah, I might get I got might get lamin that crazy. This one here is for Miss Emmeline. Do we have an oh look? Do we have an Emmeline around here? Is she? Oh, she's right up home. there. Yeah. You want to bring her over, Kathy? This is from uh, from Iowa, and. And this is from Linda, or her cam name yeah, is Linda, oh, number oh. number four, Iowa. Look at this, Emmy. It's for you, and it's a beautiful kitty. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Aww. Aww. It's for you. That's, yeah, do you smell that? Oh, she says, I like it. I like it. It's one of those Persian-type kitties. And it says, wishing you a Valentine's Day that's all warm and fuzzy, but doesn't shed too much. Your friend always, Linda. And if our cat Terry could put down that there's a check in here also from, from Linda. It says, Miss Emmeline Kitty, happy Valentine's Day. I wanted to make sure that you had your very own personal Valentine's Day card to hang on the wall all the cards at FFRC. I have also enclosed a donation to help in some small way to defray the cost the, the cost of medical expenses for you. Linda, thank you. I appreciate that. You are such a sweet little girl and you have com completely captured my heart. Did you hear that? Please be sure and thank Jackie and all the wonderful volunteers for doing all they do to help you and all your furry other furry friends at FFRC. God has a special place in heaven for all of them, I am certain. I will continue to watch the webcam, hoping to get a glimpse of you, Miss Emmeline, and the rest of your feline family. 
to show you how much I enjoy watching the kitties. We have programmed the TV in our bedroom to broadcast Ustream, and every night I bring up the FFRC and set the timer on our TV so I can watch all the antics of the kitties until I fall asleep. I also continue to vote for your shelter daily. Take care always, Linda C. Linda, thank you. Thank you very, very much. And check this out, too. She can put a kitty on Miss Emmeline's letter. That's nice. Thank you, thank you. You got your own letter. Your very own letter. Oops, I got it. I got what letters up there. She says, yeah, Bella finally got out of it. Bella, all Bella's done for the last week is um, lay on blankets. Okay, Emmy girl, though, I think you're on my, oh, no, I don't even need the cutter, wasn't it? No, no, the letter. There it is. Sorry, Emmy. We're very sorry. Oh, that one. That one's a different one. This is from Roberta S. Oh, from Surprise, Arizona. Surprise, Arizona. That's really a place. It really is a place. How'd you like that? If somebody says, where are you from? Surprise. <laughs> I like that. And, oh, cool. We've got coupons galore. Yeah, our friend Diane, um, our, our one of our volunteers is going to organize all these uh, coupons for us. It says, our mom said that we aren't going to use all these coupons that we clipped out. So we thought maybe someone at FFRC could use them. We also want to wish anyone happy Valentine's Day if they didn't receive a Valentine in the mail. Aww. This is from Chance, spelled C-H-A-N-S-E, and Bridget. And they and their mama is Roberta S. from from Arizona. Thank you, Chance and Bridget and Roberta. We will definitely do this. The coupons, um, Diane is organizing so that the ones that we don't need for the rescue center, the volunteers will be able to get into and put to good use. Oh, <laughs> I love her. Yeah, I just love her. Oh, this is from Colleen, our our Alaskan friend. Oh, oh look at this. You could not resist that, could you? I love you and it's Tiger Kitties. Mama Jackie. Yep, Weasley and Donna and Samson and Delilah. Thank you so much for letting us go live with our new mom. She is awesome. And those two older cats that are, are our brother and sister are not so bad either. We are spoiled rotten and have all the toys we could want. We get fancy feast wet food every morning and night. Good, good, good. We even steal some of Samson and Delilah's too. We are loving Alaska and hope you will come and visit us someday. Happy Valentine's Day. Love Weasley and Donna and Samson and Delilah. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Lini. Perfect card. Perfect card. Give give all four of those guys a big old hug for me. I live on Nowhere Road in Essex, Colorado. What is it? Don't knock no name Colorado. I live on Nowhere Road in Essex, Colorado. Oh. <laughs> It's really called Nowhere Road. Oh my goodness. This is, uh oh, it got smeared. It's from Atlanta, Georgia. Well, let's see if it says. This card I've been holding because it sat on it. Open on February 14th. This one is for FFRC volunteers. You want to open that one, Kathy? Sure. Oh, kitties. kitties. Love you. Oh, it's puppies. Puppies. Look, Mommy. Look, Jackie. Thank you all for, oh, forever and ever, happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for all yeah, you do so you to help Jackie make okay. FR, FFRC the most wonderful rescue home for the kitties. You all do so much. Um, 
whose name is that? Gloria? Is that right? Oh, yep, yeah, that's Gloria and Linda. Gloria yeah. and Linda. From Georgia. Yep, I should have recognized that. Hey, Kathy, do you want to next to please? Kathy's going to hang all the cards up. I think that's where they were. Okay. Here, and I'll put these things over there so we don't get them mixed up. This is for Ada Jane. Isn't that that's cute? Mom. No, yeah, I'm not quite sure where Ada is. I think she's up high. It says, sending this Valentine your way. We're stuck to you. With many thoughts of you today, we love you at my Ada Jean, Gloria and Linda. Gloria and Linda's been supporters here for quite a while also. There you go, Kathy. Yeah, this, well, of course she loves you. And this Ooh, is for like Dugster. That. I like that envelope. Do you like that envelope? It's pretty, isn't it? Like it. This is for Dugster, and ugh, I think Dugster's in the house at the moment. No, actually, he he's was not? out in there when I came in. I thought he was oh, supposed to be out there. Oh, no, he's not. Gonna... Yeah. It's time for giving Valentine's, and this okay. one's just for you. Dugster, that's why it's filled with special thoughts and special wishes, no, too. I think that's Tilo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure so. Dugster's in the house. We love you, Gloria and Linda. You know, today, um, earlier, I saw one of the volunteers picking up the kitties of the cards that was on the, that's on the hall of cards and was showing them her cards. We've had a lot of fun with the cards. Um... Uh, it's it's been really fun, and the the visitors have also enjoyed it. You know, this one's for our special Sesame, and even though he's gone, he still deserves to know he got a card. Peeking in on you to say hi and happy Valentine's Day. We love you, Sesame, Lori, and Linda. Yeah, even though our sweetie's gone, he still. It's okay. It's okay to know that he's still got some people that's thinking of him. This is for Twinkle. She wants to yeah. Can you grab that? Twinkle. Oh, I like this card. Isn't yeah. that cute? <laughs> yeah, the little mousy. This is for special you. And she is special. It says Twinkle. Wishing you every one of your little heart's desires on Valentine's Day and always. You are such a very special kitty. We love you. We are so glad you found your way to FFRC. Gloria and Linda. Yeah. This old girl's lost a little weight when we moved. She's eating good, but she's just not regaining it. We love you, family. Hey, you come here. Ugh. Oh. There you go. Be careful. And this is for all of the kitties at FFRC. You got them there. Mm -hmm. Have a happy Valentine's Day. In each and every little way, you are all so special. We know you are going to love your new floor. Happy Valentine's Day, Gloria and Linda. They do. They love their new floor. Because we love the new floor. <laughs> and magenta. Where is magenta? Mommy's not. Where's magenta? Do you know Justin's mama? Hmm. I looked for her this morning. She might be up high in the tree. Zelda's looking at me like, where's mine? Mommy's You've gotten a couple, Zelda. Oh. <laughs> We've seen that one. Isn't that cute? Finally, it looks like tomato. Yeah. Look at that. It looks like it's a little, little horns. 
It looks exactly like Diego. Have a happy Valentine's Day. Oh, oh my goodness. Happy Valentine's Day, Miss Magenta. Oh, I wish we could find her. I, I think she's up in the top of the oak tree, though, Kathy. I had sent a little something along so no, you can get more magenta down. treats. I thought you were a little piggy kitty till I found out you were you were under five pounds. Then I realized you have to eat a lot of times because your belly is so little. Enjoy your treats that your mommy Jackie will buy for you for me. One of your greatest admirers from Julie. So Cataterry, this is from Julie. P.S. I sent a little something for your mom too. Stamps. And inside this one it says, Don't let my humiliation and shame be in vain. Um, yes, stamps. We love. Oh, two of them. There's two uh, strips of the stamps, and there's also a twenty dollar. Oh, happy val. Look at that. It even says Happy Valentine's Day card for magenta from Walmart, and another and another one for um, for Walmart too. Thank you. We will definitely use these for intended things. That's so nice. Thank you very, very much. We appreciate that, Julie. She found my paint. Oh, we did. We found it. We found it. And tweaks. Did we just lose her already? Um, oh, yeah, she must say, Here, Mommy. Oh, Twinkles. This is for Twinkles, and I think this is our last one. She's getting a drink of water. Twinkle Twinks Moss. I like that. That's what I call her a lot. Little Twinkles Twinks. Where's Twinks? <laughs> oh, look at this cute one. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. Whoops. Twinkle, twinkle, you little star, how I adore you from afar. Here is a small donation for Mama Jackie to use however she wishes. To someone who always knows how to make me smile, happy Valentine's Day, Twinks. May the sun always shine on your on your window pane. Aw. And this is, this is from Logan's mom. So, Logan's mom. Thank you, Logan's mom, for the donation. We will definitely get something for the kitties with that. Here, you know what? You're right smack in the middle of that. Why don't you? You want to read what it's saying? Because if you're if you're right smack in the middle, then they can't see past you. Oops. Move your hiney around. There you go. Yeah. Can you see it now? To read it? Can you read that up there? How are you reading? Does that have little toothbrush in it? Yeah. Someday you ought to ask. Excuse me. You can borrow those. There. Actually, okay. Okay, so um, I think that's all that I have. Um, did anybody have any questions we can do real quick? And then or I'm going to get, oh yeah, I wanted to show you the new baby. I'm not sure if Val is on or not, but this is Dickens, and oh my goodness, he's turning into a little lover bugger. Did you all hear about the Torty Tiger? What what we did with the Torty Tiger? Or, oh, you are such a sweetheart. Yeah, Val, he's he's just turning into a mush. Well, the black kitty that came with this one, we've not seen hide your hair up. I followed some footprints today um, that were small, uh, like maybe a young kitty, but uh, they went into the barns. I didn't see, you know, the kitty. Yeah, um, so on the other one that was here yesterday, it was a torty tiger. With that, that one's the one that had the extra toes. Um, the people that brought her in are, are friends and neighbors of mine. They called last night and they wanted to know how she was. And you know, yesterday we had quite a bit of trouble with her 
just being real a little bit standoffish and just worried, just plain worried. And her worriedness was rubbing off on Dickens, who was afraid to move in the pen because the other one. Okay, look again. It's I just put it in there. It should be right on top. Okay. You can. You know where's that? Where? Are you? What do you need to do? Uh, I told her there's some glitter in the secret drawer. And I can't see what's outside. So the people had called about her, and when I told them that, they were concerned about her as as we were, and they wanted to give her another try. So what what happened was this kitty had been bounced from um, two different homes, then to my neighbor friends, and then they hadn't even thought about maybe the possibility of keeping it. And then they decided last night that they would like to, they really would like to give her a home. And they were committed to helping her get over her worriedness. So they came early this morning because the one had to work this afternoon and they wanted to spend, uh, both of them wanted to be there in the home to help her relax. And so they'll call in a couple days and let us know how she's doing. No, um... Al Skate, um, my sister Judy was here, and Judy S. was here. Um, the one that's my height with the shorter white hair is Judy S. Yeah, this is the brother of the one that was, of the sister that was lost outside. Yeah, but, you know, the, and just in case you didn't hear me mention last night, if, if she is still around this area, we have so many um, areas that the cities can get into that have heated lights and heated beds and food in many of the sheds out there. No, this is this is uh, Dickens. This is Dickens. So you know the kitty, if it sticks around here, won't be cold, won't be hungry. We just have to um, try to trap her, especially early spring, so that we can get her spayed, so we don't have babies out there. What did I do early this morning with Judy? I'm not sure I know what you mean. Oh, I know, but I oh I didn't um copy I didn't get it done because I I didn't realize we were gonna have envelopes today and I knew Steve and I was gonna go to the movies, so I wasn't gonna do boxes till I saw the envelopes that there was more envelopes in the box so how about we do the pregnant boy cat story tomorrow night I do have it written down so I'll pull it up and um, Patty's um, pictures too the baby baby pictures um, the hubby has oh, oh yeah Putter he's right here so Val here's this little Dickens we did trim Jacuti's nails yeah, Judy, uh, the um, shorter Judy is Judy S. Oh, thank you, Jack Hat. Yeah, Judy, Judy S. and I both like snow. And so we put our, oh, I put my barn coat on and boots, and she had her stuff on, and we went out and we made snow angels this morning. So that was fun. And then, and then uh, this, the snow was really dry at that time, but we packed and packed and pack the snow we've got two snowballs like this and we put them on this two snowballs on a towel on the floor and let the kitties have have snowballs which was really kind of fun and then we sprinkled um bonito flakes on them which they really really liked and then a little while later uh we i poured um chicken broth on top of those big snowballs and the kitties really liked that so it was fun. Judy and I had fun making the snow angels, and the kitties had fun with their snowballs. A cutie actually did um, get to come over a little bit. I did see her over there by him because she was licking the bonito flakes. Yeah, it was fun. Has he grown any yet, Val, since you saw him? Yeah, he's a nice kitty. Hey, look at me. I'm a long kitty. I'm a long kitty. Oh. Hey, do He's really beautiful. You ready to go back in? He'll be out in another day or two. Oh, I'm glad, Val. I'm glad. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The snowball bonito chicken broth uh, recipe. 
I know. Yeah, but he's been eating up a storm. And I know his tummy's gotten bigger. You're worried about Badu, aren't you? And I don't blame you. She's being a grump, but chicken snowballs. <laughs> yeah. And well, let's put you back in. And Putter, I think Sharky's hubby wants to see you. And here's Butter Boy, our dear, dear boy. Badu. <laughs> Actually, she's been looking in the house like, I want to go in there. <laughs> this cat just literally sinks into people. Oh, there's Linda for Iowa. Thank you, thank you. Yep, we appreciate your help. Putter, gosh, I don't remember all their ages, but without looking at his health record, I think he's 15. Uh, I can look. We shaved his tummy today a little bit because he does not like his tummy groomed. So we shaved his tummy and his armpits. He didn't like his armpits shaved. And we also did that to the two patties because they don't like being Jackie. groomed either. Jackie, um, I'm going to be the I'm going and ask um, Steve for a piece of newspaper. Um, Emmy is a forever home at the center. Whoop, 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 I missed that. You guys know something I don't know? Yes, but someone adopted her. Did I hear Emma is now a forever kitty at the center? Um, no, Emma, Emma Line is. Oh, did I pinch your tail? I'm sorry, honey bunny. Emma Line actually can be adopted if she goes to the right home. Yeah, Potter gets medicine to help him feel a little bit better. And gosh, you know, somebody asked me in an email that I will answer that person. I don't know who it is. I'll remember off the top of my head who it was, but I think I said a date wrong or something on cam one night. And to be honest with you, I don't know if it's Emmeline or Ernestine, but okay, okay. It, just in case it's Emmeline or Ernestine, I'll run these by you real quick, and then I'm going to um, uh, clean up here because I'm going to go in pretty quick. So Emmeline came to us originally on uh, December 2nd, 2009, and she was 11 weeks old, and uh, she her birthday, Emmeline's birthday is September 16 of 09, and she was... Um, Adopted March 27, 2010, and she was returned uh, in November. So she was there like, what is that, eight months? Yeah, so she'll be three. Um, Emmeline had went to a lady who loved her, big time loved her, but because of the medical issues with Emmeline, she could not keep up with them. She tried so hard. Uh, she she worked. We worked with her. Other vets worked with her, and she just couldn't get control of her problems. And she felt sorry for her, Emmeline and knew that Emmeline needed a little bit more. So out of the goodness of her heart, she did bring her back. And uh, we're the ones that had actually removed her eye before she even left here. She had been at at our local shelter. And uh, they kept bringing her back into us because she just couldn't kick her upper respiratory infection. And we ended up having to remove the eye from it. And then um, they were so overcrowded. And they brought her back again for treatment the uh -huh. upteenth time, just many times. And so that time I just said, 
we need to keep her. So that's how we ended up having her. Um, and then Ernestine. Ernestine's birthday is, September, is uh, July 5th, 2009. So they're just two months apart. And Ernestine arrived when she was two years old. And she arrived uh, July 11 of 2011. And she came here with four kitties. So, and Ernestine has never been adopted. Ernestine was found at a business here in Defiance. Okay. So, I am going to... No, Ernestine was two, two, did I say that wrong? No, Ernestine was two years old when she arrived. Um, Gentle Song, a couple days ago, a few days ago, she had uh, tremor activities, probably seizure related, um, where she, from her shoulders up, is tremble, 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 and her ears, her eyes, everything. She's done this before, but she had taken a fall, bad fall the night before. I don't know if that triggered it again or not, but she hasn't done it since then. Um, so she's doing good. Oh, Jobo. Yeah, you must be why Jobo is being, is a little earlier. Now I know what you were saying. Thank you, everybody, for Valentine wishes. And tomorrow I get to sleep in a little bit, little bit, little bit longer, just in case you missed it. Happy Valentine's Day. No, Vera has not gotten her meds yet tonight, Tommy. Thank you. Glitter, glitter. You are welcome. Thank you, guys. Okay, I'm going to go in or I try to get in a little earlier tonight. So, job's going good. Good. You love it. I love it. I'm happy. Good. Potato sets. I'm not so stressed. I can come home and buy my own kids. That's true, That's isn't it? it? And yeah. it's closer, isn't it? You don't have to go out and get yeah. closer. Well, yeah, it's like it takes me like five, ten minutes, but it's eight to five every day. I get a one o'clock lunch break every day. Like you know, it's just laid back. They leave me alone to do my work and. You know, they're funny and they're nice. I'm happy. happy. So my boss called this morning. She lives in Lima. Oh. She drives every day. And I got there, and the other guy that's usually the maintenance supervisor usually is in before me, but he had a dentist appointment, so I have keys. So I had to unlock him. There was a note for me, and then she called and she said, I'm running behind. 